hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel um hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi if you're new here to my, both my travel and my lifestyle channel hi my name's rebecca i love talking about travel and lifestyle please subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, click the red and white subscription button don't forget to click on the notification bell so you never miss an upload so today i'm going to be doing a budget travel news uh, special five exciting facts february 2022 part four so this uh, these are uh, facts that i've mentioned in other videos um but I haven't gone into detail about choose your destination uh, carefully or I haven't gone into more detail but some other facts um, I have said in other videos um, but um, this has come from where global uh, globaltravelers.com so I'm going to fire away with number one, with uh, choose your destination carefully. Here are 30 places to travel on a budget. Now, um, we're kicking off uh, with Asian countries, um, such as Indonesia, which is £16 a day or 18 euros or 20 us dollars then the philippines is again exactly the same 16 pounds 18 euros and 20 us dollars nepal is 17 pounds 19 euros and 20 us dollars india is again cheap at uh, very cheap at 14 pound 50 slash 16 pound 50 euros and 17 pound 50 us dollars wow cambolia is 16 pounds 50 18 pound 50 euros and 20 pounds us dollars at uh, malaysia is 19 pounds 21 euros and uh, 23 us dollars La lagos or, La or lasos sorry i can't pronounce the country's name it's in asia at uh, 16 pound 50 18 pound 50 euros so again that's cheap again uh, Pakistan is uh, 15 pounds that's really uh, cheap again um, 17 euros 19 US dollars wow that's uh, again very cheap the cheapest though of the Asian countries though is Vietnam wow 14 pounds 16 euros and 22 pounds um 50 us dollars or it's the cheapest in pounds vietnam at nam um thailand um is 20 pounds um 23 euros and 25 us dollars Sri Lanka is £21 at uh, €23 Euros and $25 US dollars. Now moving on to uh, Central American countries, we've got Mexico at uh, £25, um, €27 Euros or €30 US dollars. We've got Guatemala at £21.50 24 euros 26 us dollars wow but the cheapest country in central america is uh, 
Nicaragus, Nicaragus, just fifteen pounds. Wow, that's incredible. And uh, thirty, it's sixteen fifty euros and eighteen US dollars. Wow. Again, that's really cheap. Moving on now to the Caribbean, Cuba, Cuba is um, hard to give an approximate budget, uh, but everywhere is between twelve uh, pounds to forty pounds. At uh, your uh, euros uh, between fourteen and forty six, and at dollars 15 to 50 US dollars depending on your backpacking style and currency use but you can travel to Cuba on the lower end of the budget relatively easy using the national uh, uh, peseto so wow That's absolutely incredible. Uh, moving on now to South America, Ecuador is £21 or 23 euros or 25 US dollars. Bolivia um, is the cheapest out of all the South American countries at £18, 20 US at 20 euros and 22 US dollars and uh, Colombia is uh, the most expensive South African uh, country at uh, 25 dollars at 28 euros and 30 US dollars now Africa South Africa Again, it's the most expensive out of the African countries at £31, uh, €35 uh, Euros or €38. US dollars. Avoid if you are on a really tight budget, but if you're, you can afford it and uh, you're looking uh, for once or a lot and a lifetime a budget experience then um again this is the one to go for if you're looking for a once in a lifetime budget experience but obviously you're not on too tight of a budget now uh, tunisia is the cheapest um out of these uh, four countries that i'm going to mention just 12 pound 50 and it looks to be the cheapest um, out of all the countries I'm going to mention here, Tunisia just twenty, uh, twelve, uh, just twelve pound fifty or fourteen pound fifty in euros or fifteen pound fifty in US dollars. Wow, that's absolutely incredible. Again, if you are re looking for a really cheap place to travel on the budget then tunisia um, has to be an absolutely fantastic option because it's it, the cheap it, the cheapest here out of all the countries and um, that i'm going to mention now morocco is 21 pounds uh, 23 euros and 25 us dollars tanzania is uh, 25 pounds 28 euros and 30 us dollars now we're coming to europe now poland um is uh, probably going to be the destination um that i would like to travel to hopefully uh, next year if i can and um, is twenty pounds, or in euros, twenty two euros, or twenty four US dollars. Albania is twenty five pounds, 
um, 28 euros and 30 US dollars. Georgia is 21 pounds, 23 euros, 25 US dollars. The cheapest country on here and um, where I would love to visit um, sometime, uh, which is Romania, at, at just 18 pounds, uh, 21 euros and 23 US dollars. Hungary, where my brother's visited, um, he's been to Budapest, um, £23, 25 euros and 27 US dollars. Italy is £27, um, 32 US dollars and 30 euros. Portugal's absolutely the same 27 pounds 32 dollars and uh, 30 euros so well uh, these look like um really good uh, prices as well um especially romania um at uh, just 18 pounds a day that's and 21 euros and 23 US dollars or which is the cheapest and uh, a lot of these countries um well Italy and Portugal I've already been to and uh, in my opinion they're both fabulous places to go and visit um but um, all these look uh, fantastic countries. Uh, last but not least, we're going to move on to the ocean air country, which is Australia. £37, 41 euros and 45 US dollars. Again, not the cheapest place on the list. In fact, it's the most expensive place on the, the list and is not usually included in budget travel lists but if you really want to see australia it can be done on the cheap and um, if you stay in hostels and cook your own food but again it's the same with a lot of countries but it can be done on the cheap and um, but obviously not as cheap as uh, any of the countries above um number two avoid the tourist traps big cities and hot spots um in each country number three get travel insurance number four travel off season is always cheaper than on season um these um three i've mentioned before um in other travel videos uh, last but not least read others backpacking experiences on google so that's another good way of finding out what it's like like to do backpacking or budget yourself uh, going to um, either different countries or a place so i would like to say thank you for watching and um the weather and um, again it's sun shining it has been snowing a bit earlier um it is still quite cold but hopefully it'll warm up next month and i would like to say thank you for watching and uh, bye for now thank you bye